Hi Aquarius, welcome to your bonus reading for January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aquarius, this is a new reading I'm incorporating into the channel. Instead of doing the weekly element readings, love, life, and advice, I'm turning it into a monthly bonus reading for all of the signs, individual signs. It'll be in the same format if you're familiar with that reading I was doing. And we'll take a look at love, life, and advice in your bonus reading for the month of January or whatever month it is. So welcome Aquarius. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great holiday season, having a happy new year. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius, love, life, and advice for the month of January or at this time. I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past playlists, your, your links are below in the description box for your journal and your love playlist if you'd like to check that out. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Only take what resonates. All right, let's see what's going on for Aquarius and love. And also in the description box, you will find how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. If you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift, that is all below. And I will also pin some of that information to the top comment below also. So let's see Aquarius. We have 31. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. So 31 is 4. 4 is all about stability, foundation, the basis of things. So there's been hurt in your relationship here. I think love can overcome that. It can heal. Um, knowing your self-worth and importance and also in your partner and in each other. Down the bottom here, we have 12. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. And 12 is 3 is about teamwork, collaboration, people working together. So I think by working together and maybe healing a situation through love um, and affection and faith, hope, optimism can probably restore something uh, in your connection. So we're going to clarify all the um, energies later with the tarot once I get all the messages out. So let's see what's going on in life for Aquarius at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. And I'd just like to say thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped or donated or sent a gift. However, you supported me in the channel. It's truly, truly appreciated. I could not do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see. Life for Aquarius. And we have the star, and that's you, Aquarius. Archangel Jophiel, a dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation, and that is Aquarius's card, the star. That faith, hope, optimism. We have faith here. And that is, star is all about faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true, healing energy. Um, so, yeah. Okay, something divinely guided. And then we have Eight of Gabriel, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. So the Eight of Gabriel is taking swift, fast, fast action. It's a fiery passion energy. It's communi quick communication. Um, a lot of activity. Something coming in for you that's divinely guided. It's like it's going to come in all at once. It's going to hit you like all at once and be like, whoa, you know. And I feel like it's going to be good news. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see what that is. But first, let's get your advice for the week for Aquarius. Not for the week, for the month, sorry. For Aquarius at this time, what is their advice? And Aquarius, if you're new um, and you do like my style and how I read my energy, please do check out my channel if you like what you see. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any uh, new readings that I upload. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So let's see what the advice is for Aquarius at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay, there we go. Vast independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So feeling independent, are we? And we have Dana, High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. So some of you may have gifts here 
that you either need to tap into or you're aware of them. And I think spirit wants you to know that uh, people, other people can benefit from your spiritual um, teaching, your whatever you have to offer in some way. And maybe you, some of you want to become independent and do it for um, your career or something like that. So, hmm, okay. So let's see. And then you have all this color here of the yellowish color, which reminds me of the solar plexus. So I feel like this is something that is probably your soul mission, your soul's purpose, your true identity, who you truly are. It's time to be your true authentic self, to be independent. All right. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So you would be successful. It's telling you right there. All right. So let's see what's going on in love. Have faith. Love makes the difference. So let's see. Well, we got three. Well, we got the Wheel of Fortune. So that's a good energy. Uh, things going in the right direction. Things going in, you know, your favor. Turn of luck. Um, fate. Destiny. So better luck and timing. So that's good. Page of Pentacles. So this could be a solid offer coming in. Very uh, solid, secure, um, stable communication also. Then you have the Knight of Swords of like rushing forward very, very quickly. Sometimes it can be reckless energy. Um, kind of like the rebel without a cause energy. Somebody may be rushing in with an offer. Hmm. And now we have, so something, and it was in reverse, so I feel like if you have been waiting, you're not going to be waiting much longer. So, so it's telling you to trust your intuition uh, about a situation. So if you've been waiting for somebody to offer you something or waiting for somebody to offer you love or a commitment or even a proposal I think it'll be coming in yeah and there's the truth of the matter with the ace of swords wow divine energy brand new beginning based on success victory epiphany aha moment uh truth clarity communication putting away things not serving standing up for yourself so seven of cups so a little bit of confusion here options um, daydreamy kind of energy, illusions, maybe. Maybe you thought it was just an illusion that this person would finally come rushing in and show their love, yet you kept having faith in this. Like, I know they're going to come in. I know they will. And uh, just like the high priestess over here, trusting your intuition and your higher knowing, like you know, even though you felt confused or thought maybe it was an illusion, and you've been waiting, but I feel like you won't be waiting much longer. And that is the truth of the matter. Someone's going to come rushing in with an offer. It's a very stable offer. Maybe slow moving, maybe something small. Maybe, hey, let's just go out for a cup of coffee or something. But it's divinely guided energy, something meant to be, something coming in in your favor. So that's a good energy. Something will transform with all the butterflies here. And I do see the boat here uh sailing going into it like the six of swords energy going into a uh, better place all right so let's see what the star does something divinely guided i feel coming in for you very quickly wow we got the star on the star i can't make this up that's your energy aquarius six of cups something uh Something either you've been waiting on from your childhood or something you've been wanting to do since childhood. Um, could be you've been waiting for a communication from somebody you've known from like your childhood or a very long time ago. All right, so let's see what else here. I don't feel comfortable taking that. Okay, too many too many. All right, what else here for Aquarius? So two of rods having to make plans and decisions for the future. Exactly. Something's going to come in for you very quickly. Something divinely guided. Double confirmation of something divinely guided for you that 
something from the past or you've been waiting for for a very long time and now it's en enabling you to make the plans and decisions that you want to make moving forward all right whatever your situation is for you nine of cups so again wish and the star is also about wishes and dreams coming true and you got that twice and now three times about fulfillment and wish fulfillment and happiness joy having overabundance as you see all the abundance this person has now so having an overwhelming amount of abundance come in maybe i don't know it could be anything here the moon so that again can speak of illusions you're gonna feel like is this just an illusion just like over here where you, someone may be finally coming into you rushing into you and you just can't believe it you think it's an illusion but it's real just like over here it could be something else or it could be the same situation something coming in for you divinely guided and you just can't believe it's your wish fulfillment that it's coming in because you can't see clearly in the moon energy so it also can be about secrets illusions intuition that kind of energy so all right i think it's going to be something you didn't quite see coming very quickly or it could again could be something you've been waiting for like i said a very long time then all of a sudden it just comes in very quickly unexpectedly when you least expected it it could be an inheritance of some kind or something like that from a long lost loved one family member maybe you forgot about or something like that wow okay so only you know what that is for you so let's see what this independent and high priestess is for aquarius at this time spirit please king of cups so really being in tune and in touch with your intuition king or queen of cups doesn't matter if it's male or female watching this but the cup energy is also about a very intuitive energy also um it's a peaceful calm loving nurturing caring giving um kind of energy compassionate kind of energy wow and then we got the queen of cups the tower and the hermit so <laughs> double confirmation with the king and queen of cups and i feel like this could relate also to over here whoever's coming in for you that's divinely guided is a soulmate because we have a matching couple and you both may be very intuitive and maybe you're going to start your own like spiritual business or go into partnership of some kind into spirituality or faith or religion or something like that and it may be a surprise to you with the tower energy and that could be this energy too of over here of uh something happened very quickly that takes you by surprise but something you've been waiting for but you're not expecting it when it comes in at the time it comes in so this is like a surprise with the tower energy i think you're off doing your own thing like with the hermit energy being very independent as over here independent just doing your thing doing you and then all of a sudden boom something comes in which is like a big shock and surprise and you're like i didn't expect this at this time so now you can move forward in that loving caring giving peaceful compassionate place taking that peaceful movement forward all right so and <laughs> working on your craft here putting in the dedicated effort and mastering your craft whatever whatever it is for you for some of you if it's some sort of new creative endeavor uh, career or project or something like that a little side business or something here i think finally you know the light comes in for you and by surprise when you least expect it as just like over here could be the same message here like this but spirit wants you to know that it's divinely coming in for you and it may be a surprise but you'll be able to move forward in that loving caring compassionate energy and do something here that you will totally love doing and uh, mastering that craft wow eight of cups so walking away from something that's not fulfilling for you and walking to something more fulfilling standing up for it fighting for it moving forward very fiery passionate energy 
also being in the queen, king or queen of rods energy and um, being very creative, um, passionate, independent, um, and go-getter kind of energy to your total um, joy, happiness, and fulfillment in emperor or empress, being a boss, a ruler, being in charge, and this divinely guided new beginning for you, which you'll be totally in love with. Some of you, it is could be a new love coming in or a love you've been waiting for finally coming in and in lined and in love with ever you're moving in uh moving forward in over here also being a ruler in charge the boss or of some kind happiness and joy fulfillment in every single way being that go-getter passionate kind of energy and taking that positive movement forward very fiery action fighting for it not giving up and walking towards that thing that is divinely guided for you Wow, Aquarius, <laughs> I hope that resonated for you. So best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.